Salut France et toi! Aujourd'hui, on va parler des adverbes. Who doesn't love a good adverb? What is an adverb is our first question. An adverb is something that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. So in the same way that adjectives will modify nouns, adverbs modify verbs. When I say modify, I just mean it's going to give me more information. And I'll answer questions like when, how, where, how often, or to what degree. So really there's two questions that we need to ask ourselves about adverbs and that we're getting out of this lesson. The first one is, well, how do I make an adverb? And that's the first thing we're going to do. Yes, you can make adverbs. The second question is, where do they go in a sentence? Grammatically speaking, they go in a very particular word order. Okay. So first let's talk about how do we make an adverb. Okay. A lot of adverbs in English end in L-Y. For example, quickly, slowly, happily, things like that. In French, the equivalent of L-Y is M-E-N-T. So what you'll do is you'll take the feminine form of an adjective and then put M-E-N-T at the end of it. So for example, sérieux, the feminine form is sérieuse. So put an M-E-N-T, you got sérieusement, seriously. That's basically all there is to creating an adverb. Now you can't do this with everything, but that's the basic process. All right, so question number one, answered. Okay, um, we're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> so here are two adverbs that you may not know. Heureusement, you might recognize heureux or heureuse for happy. That's happily or fortunately. The opposite of that is malheureusement. So put M-A-L in front. That is unhappily or unfortunately. And franchement, frankly. When you speak frankly to someone, that's when you are very clear. You don't try and what's the word sugarcoat it. You just tell somebody what you're thinking. You speak frankly. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is where do these adverbs go? And there's really three categories of adverbs that we're concerned with. We're concerned with adverbs that are short. We have adverbs that are long, and then we have adverbs uh, with expressions of time. So. A short adverb will go right after the conjugated verb, and believe it or not, again, you learn this in level one. So, for example, j'aime beaucoup la cuisine épicée, I really like spicy food. Or remember when we learned, j'aime bien jouer au fort, or j'aime beaucoup nager, j'aime un peu lire. Those were adverbs that we were putting right after the conjugated verb, which in our case, our conjugated verb is M-A. Okay? So even in the passé composé, we're going to see this, and this is what is sort of unnatural to us. Elle a déjà goûté la cuisine thaïtienne. She has already tried Tunisian cuisine. So we've got our helping verb here, which is a, and then our past participle. A is the conjugated verb, so we have to put déjà right after. We're splitting up the two parts of the passé composé. That is sometimes very unnatural, so you got to look out for that, okay? Um, here's another one. Il est souvent allé chez Nadia. Now, well, the next question is what qualifies as a short adverb? And here are a whole bunch of adverbs, most of which will qualify as short or small. We've got parfois, we got quelquefois, right? Here's our first exception. Parfois almost always starts the sentence. And quelquefois, ugh, that's a little longer. You can start the sentence with that one. We consider that a long one. Souvent, often, toujours, always. D'habitude, usually, this is another one that I would probably start the sentence with it. Uh, we've got déjà, already, enfin, finally, tôt, early, tardly, bien, well, mal, badly, or poorly, vite, quickly, même, is even or still, peut-être, maybe, beaucoup, a lot, un peu, or peu, a little, and trop, too much. All these we would consider to be short adverbs, and we're going to stick them right after the conjugated verb. So that's category number one. The second category um, that we need to worry about, about where to put these adverbs, is longer ones. And our long adverbs usually go at the beginning or the end. You kind of have your choice. Here's a couple examples. Généralement, on mange à 19 heures. So normally, we eat at 7 o'clock. Franchement, je ne connais pas Monet. Frankly, I do not know Monet, or I'm not familiar with his work. Elle a étudié sérieusement. There's an example of it at the end. 
So these longer ones that are M-E-N-T adverbs, they're either going to start our sentence or finish it for us. The third kind of adverbs that we have to worry about where they go is our adverbs with expressions of time. And they're very similar to our long adverbs. They're either going to go at the beginning or at the end. Hier soir, Nadia a travaillé au restaurant. Last night, Nadia worked at the restaurant. Or, Nadia a travaillé au restaurant hier soir. You could do either. You get your choice. Who says I don't ever give you choices? Isn't it beautiful? So what we're going to do now is, actually, this is the end of our notes for right now. The second part of our video involves comparative adverbs. All right, so you're going to be coming back to those. Comparative adverbs, just like comparative adjectives, is when we are comparing people. And there's three different kinds. We've got when somebody is more than. And very similar to our comparative adjectives, plus plus the adverb plus que. So Jean étudie plus souvent que Marc. Jean studies more often than Marc. It's like the ER. For less than, we use moins plus the adverb plus que. Good job. Jean étudie moins souvent que Marc. Jean studies less often than Marc. And when you do something as much, uh, oh, there's your example. When you do something as much as someone, we use aussi. Plus the adverb. So Jean étudie aussi suivant que Marc. He studies as often as Marc. So comparative adverbs aren't really that big. What gets a little confusing is when we start looking at some of our irregular adverbs. And that's going to be the next chart. We're also going to learn superlatives. So what you might want to do in your notes is start this chart. But over here on the right, you might want to create a third column for superlatives. So here are my adverbs in their English equivalent. You do something well, which is bien, not bon, not good. I don't sing good. You sing well. It's one of my pet peeves. Beaucoup for a lot and peu for little. The comparatives are irregular in French. Mieux is better. Okay, so if I play better than you, je joue mieux. I don't need the three parts. Beaucoup is a lot. And the comparative for more is just plus. We don't need the que when I'm using these irregular comparatives, and that's a really important thing. Oh, you do need the que. Just kidding. But there's not the three parts. It's not plus beaucoup que. It's just plus que. And then pe, the um, comparative is moi, and that means less. So here's an example. Je joue tennis mieux que Georges. I play tennis better than George. Or, I play tennis less than George, moins que. Notice how this only has the two parts here, mieux que, whereas when we were all the way back here on the other slide, there were three parts, plus plus the adverb plus que. When we have the irregulars, we only need the irregular adverb and then the que. All right, so you get another chance to pause here and then come on back, and we will talk about superlatives. All right, so we're going to skip this. Woo okay, superlatives of adverbs. This is when you are the est. You're the best, the smartest. Okay, but we're dealing, instead of with adjectives, we're dealing with adverbs. So le plus 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 the adverb is our formula for superlatives. So, for example, Jean studies the most often. Le plus souvent. Or Corey runs the fastest. Corey plus le plus vite. The most fast. All right, but we would say the fastest. Now, I promised you there would be some more irregulars, so here they are. Here's our chart from before, and we're going to add our superlatives. I do something well. He might do something better, but she does it the best, which is le mieux. So again, before we had only um, two parts, we had uh, three parts, le plus 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 the adverb for the superlative. Irregular adverbs, we only need the two parts. We only need le and mio. That's the best. I do something a lot. You do it more, but he does it the most. Take a guess. Le plus. The most. He does something a little bit, but I do it less. And she does it the least. Le moins. All right, so for example, je parle français le mieux. I speak French the best. Or, je joue au foot le moins. I play soccer the least. All right, so now you've worked your way all the way through how to make an adverb, where does an adverb go in a sentence, to comparatives and superlatives. Nice job, guys. And we will 
talk about all of these tomorrow in class. You got a fun test coming up. Woohoo! Au revoir!